hello beautiful family you are welcome back to my channel <laughs> are you all doing happy weekend to you um so guys today is saturday maybe i will be dropping this video on monday or on sunday so guys today i just want to take you guys along my family member along with me and then we anyway, are still doing some cooking so guys today we will be cooking um ovo soup is it ovo soup is it ovo soup i don't know <laughs> i'm going to cook ovo so guys so you know everybody have your own way of cooking your own ovo soup and this is my own pattern and this is how i cook my own ovo soup and that you my family member will love this one mm -hmm. i know what you guys like i know so guys before i will show you guys the things that we'll be needing if you are new on my family channel please subscribe thumbs up your notification bell so that anytime i upload this video you'll be getting notification always support this family please guys support this family share this video share my video to your friends and family so now i'm inside my room my room so now i'm just going to the kitchen and then show you guys what we are going to be cooking today and then as you can see i already up this room this morning as you can see so now i'm tired that is why i'm cooking this food late and i'm supposed to start cooking this food by uh what to cook this food like uh 12 o'clock <laughs> so let me show you guys what we are going to be needing for this ovo soup yes i have here my dry fish i always dry my fish in my oven so here is my dry fish so it's not dry enough i'm going to leave it to dry the way i like it so if you like you can show you dry fish or fresh fish it's the same thing so here i have crayfish onions pepper I have here fresh catfish. Oh my god, if you taste catfish in your owo soup, it's very delicious and yummy. So I also have here my catfish. Here is my ukang potash. I have here gari. You can use gari. If you don't like, you can also use gari. But I love my uh, I love my own with gari. So I also have here onions that I will use to boil my meat, tomatoes salt and my nocu i have here my dry fish like smoked fish i also have here any time so i have here my meat that i will be using so here is my so guys that is the thing that we will be needing in this my ovo soup follow me as i cook this delicious ovo soup so guys here is my meat now i'm going to add my Salt and the nocule to eat. So I will add my onions. That is it. I'm going to add some more water, then cover it to boil. So I'm going to add some more water to eat, then cover it to boil. So, guys. Our next step is to grind our pepper, onions, and then our. I will also add the garlic to eat to grind it together.
So now we are going to check our meat. Look at it. Now they already cleaned my yam and the plantain. So I just put salt to boil. So now I will be putting the pepper, onions, and cream in the ground. So my next step will be putting my tomatoes. So now I'm going to turn this. I'll go ahead to boil like five minutes before we add the rest ingredients. So guys, now it's five minutes. So we are going to add the many ingredients. Now I will add my inutan to it. My smoked fish, my dry fish. So, guys, I have already had my cut fish to eat. Remember, why you need your ukao is to make it to sink. So, I've not had my dry fish yet. So, I just want this step to done well. I want this step to turn first before I will add the dry finish. So the last you are going to put in this also is red oil. I did not show you guys the red oil. So here is my red oil. You need red oil. If you want to make ooso, you need red oil for it. So now I'm going to be putting my ukao. I'm going to be putting my crown now so that everything is done together. So I'm going to cover it up now. So guys, now let's check our overall. Oh my god, you see how it look like. So do not bother that it's not thick. Over is that when you put it down, it will thick. So now I'm going to add my dry fish to it. So you make sure that you remove the bone because of your children. Bone is not so good. So I'm see. I will see how I eat. To do more. So, guys, look at the oven, and then it's ready. I hope you like this video. So, now I'm going to leave it. I'm going to off the gas now. I will leave it to cool before I will add my red oil. So, when your oven is on fire and it's hot. It's not good when you add your oil. You will allow it to cool a little bit before you will add your red oil. So now I'm going to off my gas now. As you can see, I'm going to off my gas. Then I will allow it to cool a little bit before I will add my red oil. So guys, look at it. So now I'm going to add my red oil. So the oil is cold now. So now I'm going to add, I already had it. the red oil, so now I'm going to turn it. So guys, this is how it look like after putting the red oil. As you can see, it looks so yummy and delicious. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, so that press your notification bell so that anytime I upload, you will get the notification. I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye.